Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is the Blackened Blue Cheese Burger. Well, hello friends and welcome back. Today we are making another culinary contribution to the National Burger Month of May and this time we're headed down to the bayou for some Cajun influenced burger flavors. We're actually gonna make a blackened blue cheeseburger today, which means we're taking our brisket blend patties, we're gonna sear them off with a Cajun blackening seasoning and serve them up on onion buns slathered with black garlic aioli, fresh veggies, pickled okra, and a generous helping of blue cheese dressing. So we've got a couple condiments to put together. Let's dive right into the blue cheese. So obviously first ingredient in blue cheese dressing is the blue cheese. I've got four ounces, half of it is going into the blender right now. The other half we're gonna leave chunky. We're gonna add to the blender a cup of sour cream. Oh, I should mention too, we found a smoked blue cheese for this recipe just to add a little extra flavor, a little extra smokiness. Next, we've got a third cup of Duke's mayonnaise, then a couple tablespoons of cultured buttermilk, a teaspoon of white vinegar, single clove, a nice good sized clove of garlic. We're gonna throw in a half teaspoon of our blackening seasoning. This is the same stuff we're gonna use on the burgers. And then just a little bit of black garlic salt and some fresh ground black pepper. All right, so we're gonna throw this on the Vitamix and blend until smooth. All right, let's give this a little scrape. Looks nice and smooth to me. So we're gonna take this out of the pitcher now. And then let's fold in the other half of our blue cheese crumbled up. So now we've got the creamy and the chunky textures going. That's that. Now with the blue cheese out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to this garlic aioli. Now I'm using the term aioli a little loosely here. We're kind of making a Tudor version of a modern aioli. And to make it simpler, we're just starting with a quarter cup of Duke's mayo. We're gonna add to that a tablespoon of our Coslix Triple Crunch. That's about, I'm gonna guess a tablespoon. Which is really just pickled mustard seeds. Fantastic flavor, great texture too. We're gonna add also a tablespoon of our Pit Fire Hot Sauce for the tang. We'll get some fresh cracked black pepper in here. And then the real star of the show, which is our black garlic. So this black garlic uh, comes from a local farm, Ori's Farm here in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, if you've never experienced this, it's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, it's actually kind of fermented uh, to the point where the cloves of garlic are just this like paste consistency that is just sweet and sticky and black. Like you could pop this into your mouth and it's just sweet goodness. It's pretty amazing stuff. It's a little bit messy to work with, but it's totally worth it. Tons of flavor. We're gonna peel two whole heads of garlic to put into this aioli. All right, so we're gonna add all that black garlic to the exi existing mixture and just kind of mash it in and work it. Like I said, it's kind of a paste consistency anyway, so just a little bit of agitation and it kind of works right in there. If you wanna go like full scary black on your aioli, a little squeeze of uh, squid ink in here. Make it all the way black. Kind of a cool visual. I think that's just about right. We've got some texture in there. You're still gonna get little bites of the black garlic as well as the pop from the pickled mustard seeds. Oh man, super tangy, creamy, but it's balanced out by the sweetness of the black garlic. It's gonna be nice. Now for forming up our burger patties, we've got one pound of Creekstone Farms brisket blend burger pucks, but we're gonna break this all up. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually mix some blue cheese into the burger. About a half ounce or two tablespoons um, for each burger, and we're gonna do third pound burgers. So we just wanna press that into the meat, and then we're gonna scale this out into three equal portions, roughly third pound burger patties. All right, so the whole thing is weighing in at, let's see, 
18 and a half ounces. So that means we can go just over six ounces per. Now what we want to do here is press these out into a nice even round shape that's roughly the same size as our bun, which is why we have a bun standing by here so we can kind of check ourselves. Remember, you're gonna get some shrinkage as it cooks. So you wanna go just a little bit bigger in diameter than your bun, and I think that's gonna be just about right. So the cool thing about mixing our blue cheese in is now not only do we have these super juicy brisket blended burgers, but every once in a while you get just that burst of cheese flavor as you bite into the patty. So we're gonna season these burgers up now with our Cattleman's Grill blackening seasoning, great Cajun spices, that deep red color, the chili powder. And we're gonna go pretty generous coating here. You wanna let the rub just set up until it looks kinda of wet on the surface. We'll get the other side on the griddle. But today we're cooking on our Le Griddle flat top. We've got half of it preheated pretty high heat for our sear on our burgers and the other half a lower heat to toast the buns. All right, so we're gonna start by toasting our buns on the cooler side of the griddle. we get some butter down. Then we're gonna get these burgers down. Again, quite a bit hotter, medium to medium, or medium high to high heat on this side of the griddle. Now, much like we do with our blackened fish or any other blackened uh, foods, proteins that you're cooking, one thing you can do is paint on that layer of melted butter underneath the seasoning, and that helps with that blackening process. I certainly could have done this to the other side had I not got ahead of myself. but we'll benefit from getting this one side at least. Take a look and see how it's coming along. It's a pretty good sear. We can go a little bit darker. I'll wait to flip the next two. All right, we're gonna flip these other two now. Oh yeah, that's a nice crust. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. All right, these burgers are creeping right up on 155, which is gonna be our target temperature for today. Go ahead and pull them off. Buns have just been cruising along, done a little rotation, but they're looking pretty nice now. All right, we're gonna slice up a little bit of tomato here to go onto our burgers. Also got some pickled okra from my buddy Jimmy over at Can Grow Hydro Farm. Thanks, Jimmy, appreciate it. We're gonna dice up some of this to throw on for our pickles. All right, let's build these burgers. We're gonna start on the bottom toasted bun with our black garlic aioli. On top of that, we'll do some butter lettuce is gonna make a nice little moisture barrier there to hold these juicy pickled okra slices. Next we're going slice of tomato. And our blackened burgers. The little blue cheese hole, look at that right there. Ready to come oozing out. And then the blue cheese drizzle. Gonna get some of those chunks in there. You wanna make sure this is primed to just run all down your hands while you take your first massive bite. There we go. So that's it, top bun and we're done. Let's top it off. And let's get a bite. All right, first we gotta get the old cross section here. Oh my goodness, oh. look at that juice.
Oh my. This is pure happiness right now. These flavors are incredible together. That dark, herbaceous, blackening seasoning on the juicy beef with the blue cheese that's a little funky, reminiscent of like a dry aged beef almost. Once those things combine, <sighs> incredible. But boy, don't count out the fresh ingredients. That's where the balance is at. The crunch from that lettuce, the juicy tomato, the pickled okra, all of that is working in symphony form to just really balance everything out. I love this burger. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all the products featured in today's video. If you enjoy the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.